Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Works Well With Others, a creation by Ross McCammon. Works Well With Others, 2015, is a guide that offers valuable advice for professionals, whether they are new to the workforce or have been around for a while. It provides tips and tricks on how to navigate the modern workplace, from acing interviews to successfully integrating yourself on your first day. These insights reveal the unspoken social norms that are essential for professional success. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Ross McCammon, who has been a senior editor at Esquire magazine since 2005 and a columnist for Entrepreneur magazine for a long time, is highly knowledgeable in the field of business etiquette. He is also the author of The Imposter's Handbook. With five key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, this text encourages the reader to take control of their fears and challenges by asking what's in it for me. It suggests that by facing their fears, they can overcome them and gain a sense of empowerment. This text discusses irrational fears and provides tactics and techniques to handle potentially awkward or scary situations. It emphasizes the importance of confidence, honesty in job interviews, and giving memorable toasts. Key idea number one. When communicating with a recruiter, it is important to consider their perspective. Companies often use external recruiters to determine who gets an interview with the hiring manager. It's important to understand that recruiters are more interested in building a relationship with you than filling a specific position. Treat the meeting as an informative conversation for them to learn about you and your career goals. Don't be late, be truthful, ask questions, and send a thank you note after the meeting. Key idea number two. Eye contact is an important factor in achieving success during meetings and interviews. In a job interview, making a good first impression is crucial. Eye contact plays a key role in forming this impression. Within seconds of meeting someone, judgments are made based on eye contact. Maintaining good eye contact communicates social skills, friendliness and emotional stability. It is important to avoid looking away or at the floor during an interview. Studies show that candidates who maintain good eye contact are viewed more favorably. However, it's important to strike a balance and not overdo it. Key idea number three, using appropriate language and avoiding certain words and phrases can enhance your professionalism when presenting yourself. To maintain professionalism in the workplace, it is important to use appropriate language. Avoid excessive apologizing and instead acknowledge mistakes and express a commitment to improve. Avoid using phrases like, does this make sense? that suggest uncertainty or lack of confidence. Replace colloquial phrases like grab with more respectful language. Adjust your vocabulary to match the professional environment and communicate effectively. Key idea number four. Knowing how to give a toast can be beneficial in social situations. A successful toast is a concise and memorable speech. Consider the tone and expectations of the occasion. Avoid leaving out important names by preparing in advance. Use inclusive language to make everyone feel honored and prevent hurt feelings. Key idea number five. Clothing holds significant importance and influence. The right outfit can have a significant impact on how people perceive you. Clothes can convey assurance, individuality, and self-confidence. They are crucial in making a good first impression and can help you stand out as the right candidate in a job interview. Your choice of attire should match the occasion and reflect your style. Researchers at Columbia University found that clothing can also affect the wearer's mood and behavior, a phenomenon known as enclothed cognition. Quality clothes can make you feel smart, sexy, and confident. It's not just about how clothes look, but also how they make you feel. In conclusion, the key message of this book is that the business world is filled with social landmines, but by following some simple tips, you can avoid embarrassing yourself and have control over your professional success. 
one actionable tip is to never be late for job interviews. Even if unexpected things happen, it is important to give yourself enough time to be punctual. The suggested further reading is the book Crucial Conversations, which explores techniques for handling difficult conversations and turning them into positive and solutions-oriented discussions. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.